Okay, so in order to do the big window, undo the zippers. And up here, you'll find that all three of these drawstrings come together in one. When you pull it, you know, make sure it's not looped in through this loop because it'll tangle. Make sure it's down there. And so the easy way to start is kind of fold it to the gray part. And then just keep folding it in on itself as you go up. Make sure the lines don't tangle. And you can pull it up. We've tried to do it with one person and it's very difficult. So it's best if you have two. Get it tucked in. Make sure each one is pulled tight. And then down here, there's a cleat. And you can just do a figure eight around the cleat. And you're done. Okay, so in order to close it up, you can undo the strings from the cleat. And as it falls down, Make sure that this doesn't get tangled up in there because it can become a mess. Pull all the strings down evenly. Do zippers. helpful once you zip it is to pull tight on the edge so there's a little bit of a gap or I don't know and then just make sure it's done all along velcro okay we're gonna show you how to open up the uh, windows for the year so undo the velcro um, and if you fold it back on itself, that way if it rains or any condensation, it's going to um, go away from the yurt. Go up here. And there's ties. And just go ahead and tie it off. And that's it. So for lights and windows inside the yurt, we have lanterns that hang. Um, they have three settings, um, bright, medium, low, and then off. Um, we also have um, three LED candle lights that are controlled by this remote control. Um, there are two windows that can be opened in the yurt. And then to get extra airflow, you can open the dome. So hanging on this hook right here is the dome opener. You put it up onto the hook and it is um, clockwise to the right to open and counterclockwise to the left to close. Keep in mind that the dome only opens up about this much. Um, just so that it'll allow airflow. So um, when you feel it stop, then it's completely open.